step three. So step three is the evidence. What have you actually done in your life to make me believe that you want to do medicine? Um, now, it's important in this stage, don't go scoreboard mode. Scoreboard mode is, I've been to Zambia, I've been to Cambodia, I've been to Honduras, and I had amazing experiences speaking Spanish, speaking French, speaking Afrikaans, or whatever they speak in Zambia. And all those different experiences have led to me wanting to do medicine. To me, that's more shallow than saying, I volunteered for an hour a week at a local hospital, pushing, helping people move between rooms, um, helping nurses with their basic duties, and I just love the feeling of helping out and giving people my time. Consistency is important, so if you're watching this video and you've got a year before you're actually going to do your interview, or if you're unsuccessful this year, that's the kind of volunteering experience you want, something that's regular, consistent, because not only is it more self-sacrifice for you, but it's also more compassionate and more caring and more giving and more reflective of what it's actually going to be like in hospital, okay? So, my experience prior to heading into medicine, um, again, it's, it's kind of personal, but it, it, to me, it's um, the experiences I have with my mum being in hospital. It wasn't actually my volunteering necessarily that made me want to do medicine, but I was in hospital um, a lot of times. I wasn't personally sick, but I, I had a lot of experiences with doctors, so that's what I would talk about here. Um, and to be honest, if I was to make myself a better candidate, I would actually have tried to do more volunteering and get a better understanding of what the actual hospital deal is, because, um, I mean, luckily for me, I guess, I had enough insight into what it was going to be like that I didn't feel like I had to do the volunteering, but if you're kind of heading into medicine without having an idea of how hospitals work, highly recommend doing some time in hospitals because you can save yourself a significant mistake that you might be making by heading into medicine. If your parents are forcing you to do it, for the sake of God, don't do it. So many people burn out, so many people get upset, so many people don't finish. Um, I think it's a really underrated thing, like lots of people don't finish medicine because it's really hard and taxing, and if you don't get some emotional satisfaction out of being in a hospital and helping people, at least at some tiny level, then you won't do well in medicine. Um, so, talk about your experiences. St. John's, Zambia, it's fine, but talk about the interactions you had with different people, um, and don't focus on the experiences or a scoreboard of CV points, because that's not how it's gonna work on the day. Um, and that goes for any interview, Notre Dame as well, um, those portfolio unis, that it's the experiences, it's the you. Why do I want to pick you? Not the, I went to here, there, and wherever, because I definitely know people who could go down the street and have more insightful, reflective moments than someone who is halfway across the world. So, those three moments, okay? Those three moments are key. The first one, the feels, get them in the heart, the emotion, two, technical problem solving, those kind of aspects, and three, the, what are the experiences you've actually had that are close to medicine in some way that actually show me that you want to do it as a career. It sounds like you can't do it in the minute to two minutes you actually have, but it's actually quite easy. Anatomy book, maths, maths corridor, kind of insane competitiveness, three, family in and out of hospital, me deciding that I really wanted to, to enter the profession in a kind of noble pursuit of passing on the experiences that I'd had up to that point, okay? That's why I want to do medicine. You need to work out why you want to do medicine. Check out, maybe not the time of me uploading this video, but hopefully a few days after. I'll link below. I'm going to set up like a little thing where you can make your own um, response to to this question because I think it's something that really stump people. People freak out a lot. Definitely practice um, and yeah, message below if you have any questions. I always answer all of my comments. Send me emails, completely fine. Look forward to reinvigorating the community with my new face, my old face new, new face old, I don't know. All right, see you.